हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ऋषिकेश भगत बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस ऑनलाइन वीडियो और ऑनलाइन लेक्चर आई वांट टू रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर फैमिली मेंबर्स ड्यू टू आउटब्रेक ऑफ करोना वायरस यू ऑल आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू बी सेफ एट योर प्लेस एंड बी हेल्थी नाउ बैक टू यू अवर सब्जेक्ट the subject which i have assigned that is current tense in management the subject is in the bba semester 6 so in this lecture uh, i am going to discuss about the unit number 4 bpo that is it enable services so let's start with this subject bpo business process outsourcing so i think you all are aware about the the business operations which is done at any kind of the business or the service sector if you take the small example of the single individual business so he or she is the owner and the whole soul of the any kind of the business activities so he he himself undergo all the activities and they complete and he is the only responsible for all the business activities so he can do the start from the opening of the business to all the receive the calls to send the emails to send the sms to send the invoices to send the bills and all to do the payment to record keeping and all these tasks is being done by the only the single person now let's see if if you go some the higher level so uh, especially the private sector so where the employees tend is the uh, near about the 50 to 100 so wherein the company owner they can appoint the particular staff those who are the expert into the various uh, workforce departments it may be the sales marketing finance and so on so this kind of the business they can uh, complete the various business operation with the help of the various department but if you see the example in a some kind of the uh, very very uh, multinational company so where the staff is in the thousands so maybe 35000 to 50000 and the business is operating the various transactions the operations throughout not only for the one country but the various countries like if you take the example of the in, any kind of the in any in company let's say the tata motors so it's not possible to handle or the operate all the the uh, business operations in the india only and the various countries so at the time they will require required some kind of the outsourcing now what is outsourcing some outsourcing means what some kind of the task or the business operations which is done by the another party or we can say the third party so let's see the definition of bpo that is business process outsourcing as per the wikipedia the business process outsourcing is a practice of the contacting a specific work process or a processes to an external service provider right so as i told you the example uh, where the one particular company they can give some kind of the a small part of their main business operations to the various third party which may includes the uh, operation of the website creating a website to upload the various contents to give them more information about the various goods and services which they provide to the one particular country or various other countries they can the software developers they can do the software testing and the operation of the software etc etc so all these are being the part and the puzzle which will be done by the the bpo companies so what they exactly they do the bpo companies the bpo companies they are the expert in each and every sector and the industry so there may be this uh, operations it will be include the soft lead the calling the call answering the it support desk customer support appointment scheduling telemarketing and so on so the bpo is not just like that they, they can do the calling or the, the calling and the receiving no it's some kind of the apart from the just calling so the calling it, it is a, just a small part of the uh, bpo operations so they can do also uh, it is also found that some of the companies they are uh, not having the bookkeeping accounting and the it desk so in this kind of the situation the bpo companies they can come forward and they can help to the uh, this kind of the business they with the help of the outsourcing of the services and the company will be getting the strong in terms of the it support or the financial support so let's say uh, from the uh, various uh, types of the companies the bpo sectors they can provide the data entry support data conversation bookkeeping and accounting which will be the crucial part from the company point of view so again they, they require the accountant as the uh, expert in the finance see form uh, uh, 
प्रोसेसिंग कस्टमर रिपोर्ट टेक्निकल सपोर्ट द टेलीमार्केट सर्विसेस आई टी सपोर्ट सेल्स द इंश्योरेंस सो ऑल दीज आर बींग दी टास्क विच इज द सर्विस विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय दी बी पी ओ इंडस्ट्रीज सो दिस वी बी दी स्मॉल नटचल अबाउट दी वॉट काइंड ऑफ दी सर्विसेज और वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली बी पी ओ इज डूइंग इन दी इन द एक्चुअल रियल बिजनेस सो इफ यू लुक एट दी वेरियस इंडस्ट्री पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अगेन वी हैव द वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक दी हेल्थ केयर फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट ई कॉमर्स मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशंस द कॉल सेंटर सो अगेन दे हैव अगेन दी वेरियस इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक एक्टिविटीज सो दे कैन प्रोवाइड दी वेरियस सर्विसेज टू दैम सो लेट्स एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दी एज स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सी द एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस सो दे द बी पी ओ कंपनीज दे हैविंग द बींग असाइन टू दी कलेक्शन ऑफ द फीस ऑफ द वेरियस स्टूडेंट्स If you look at any kind of the institute, so they have the students enroll in thousands. So it's very very difficult to the accountant of the uh, college or the institute to make the uh, record or the stock of the all these things. So wherein the BPO sector come in the picture, so they can collect the fees on the behalf of the institute. They can also maintain the record and they can also give the receipts or the invoice to the uh, respective students. And in one click, the institute also know about the fees dues and any kind of the fees re related information of the students. So where you can find the the course information, fees pending, total fees at which date the students has paid the fees. It may be RTGS, NFT, or the UPI, or the uh, all these things regarding finance. The BPO, uh, the services they can provide the institute. Next example will be uh, regarding healthcare services, the hospitals, the doctors. So again, the hospitals they are the various numbers of uh, services. As regards to the healthcare insurance facility or the service sector, the patient record, their patient record history, their uh, the reports. So all this being information being stored at a uh, one place. Next one will be regarding the financial services. It is also found that the most of the companies. Uh, particularly in the uh, the finance point of view, so they are not aware about the how to make the uh, bookkeeping system, the finance, the gen generation of the financial records, the balance sheet, profit and loss account, all these things, and the uh, ratio analysis, cash flow, fund flow. So all these statement till the filing of the return, to and uh, they they wanted to pay the various taxes to, to the government. So and the PF related word. So all these things are being done with the help of the BPO services, and the last and you can say the most uh, the important part, which is regarding e-commerce. So again, the BPO companies they are uh, helping to the various companies uh, regarding to uh, manufacture or you, you can say development of their website or the mobile application. What are the contents or the requirements of the company? They can work on it and they can develop the appropriate website wherein they can have the various information regarding their goods and services with the cost of the services. So the website, they are not just only creating the website. The very important job is to update the website or the mobile applications. So they are also keen interested. They can update the information whenever they require. The website also having the facility of the online shopping the refund they can track the order and all these features they can send the sms to the customers their vendors and so on so all these facility are being provided by the b2 services so in a nutshell whenever any kind of the business or uh, the business organization whenever they require any, any kind of the uh, the lack of the supports from their uh, internal point of view at that time you can know the importance of the business process outsourcing wherein they can just simply outsource whenever they are weak into their internal point of view and these this kind of the services is being outsourced by the companies so let's say what are the uh, the types of the bpos so basically there are two types of the bpo front office services and the back office services as you are aware the front office services which includes the appointment scheduling the market research technical support sales support the uh, market research technical support Uh, the help desk and the customer service centers. So all these are being the part in the parcel of the front. You can say the front office sales. Exactly opposite the back office services, which again includes the uh, data management, data entry, payments, survey, internal business process such as billing and purchasing. So these will be the you can say simply the types of the BPOs. 
now let's see uh, what are the various types of the bpos on the basis of geographical location wise so let's see geographical types of bpo again this will be uh, based on the geographical lo location okay so there are basically again three types the first one will be the onshore outsourcing which is also called as domestic outsourcing second one will be the offshore outsourcing which is also called as a foreign outsourcing and the third one will be the near shore outsourcing which is also called as a multinational outsourcing so let's see one by one uh, the first one will be the onshore outsourcing as the name indicates the domestic outsourcing where the uh, onshore outsourcing take place when an organization contracts for services offered by the company operating in the same country only for the hiring the various services so you can see the simple example will be uh, from the uh, india so the vipro is the company from the india and they can provide the various services to the very various vendor in the india only so this will be the examples of the on shot outsourcing domestic outsourcing so the company which will be having the the functions in the same country only okay those now let's see the second part which is the offshore outsourcing which is called as a foreign outsourcing again exactly slightly different with the offshore sorry onshore outsourcing so here the offshore outsourcing for only offshore take place when an organization signs a contract for services offered by company in the foreign country only now in the onshore we have studied only one company they can do the operation in the same country only but here in the offshore outsourcing which is also called as a foreign shore outsourcing where the one company from the foreign company they can do the outsourcing in the another foreign country only let's say example uh, the sony from the japan i think you all know about the company about the sony so they are uh, very good in the uh, laptops mobiles and so on walkman etc so they can do this some kind of the outsourcing from the uh, this one from the japan say so they can do the outsourcing in the india only so this will be the examples of offshore the sony from the japan they can do the business operations in the india okay and third one which is called as near shore outsourcing which is also called as a multinational outsourcing by the name indicates the near shore outsourcing is when and the organization contracts for the services offered by the company located in the neighboring countries so if you uh, locate at uh, or, or if you can see in the uh, over the world map you can see there are few a country which is cl closely related to each other so this will be the one particular country or the group of the countries which will be the part of the parcel or the examples of the near shore company now again the india china and in indonesia so this will be the uh, clo the near shore outsourcing so where the three companies are, are the closely related to each other the second example will be the russia germany and france and the third example will be the usa canada and the mexico so where these are the uh, these countries uh, on the if you look at the world map so those are the closely related so where they can uh, do the various business operations and the contracting with this uh, bpo companies so let's see uh, what are the exactly uh, the uh, top 10 outsourcing company in india and uh, what they are being expertise in the various field what about their turnover their employees in the various company okay so let's see the uh, top 10 outsourcing company in india the first company so which is as uh, called as uh, the name is genpak limited so basically the company was started in the operation in india in 1997 so basically it deals with the outsourcing and the technology services so the genpak limited is the largest bpo company in india with a population of 65000 employees working and their as far as the turnover is concerned so 1.5 billion dollar is their turnover which is the highest by any indian company so the first in india which is the in the bpo sector the name is the genpak limited <coughs> now the second company the topmost company in the india i think you all are aware that is tata consultancy services which is popularly known as a tcs the tcs limited is an indian multinational information technology service and consulting company and the headquarter is located at the mumbai maharashtra and the subsidiary of the tata group and its operates is near about 149 locations across 46 countries 
so you can know about the volumes and what kind of the various services they can provide throughout the world and it's 46 countries and the variety of services right so uh, basically this, this uh, the country uh, or the company which is uh, set up in the India in the 1968 the BPO company of the TCS achieved the new landmark of the crossing 1 billion dollar marks of its annual revenues that uh, the TCS BPO has 34,000 working persons and they have the experience growth 14% last year and they have contributed to 11% to the total revenues of the TCS and the uh, latest uh, the uh, I think you all are aware about the, uh, the uh, TCS or the Tata group so uh, at the outbreak of the coronavirus they have also given the the big amount to the uh, India to the PM fund the amount is 1500 crores of rupees so this kind of the uh, the Tata is the one of the uh, best company in India and not only best company as far as the goods and services is concerned but they are also the very very good in the CSR activities so they know about this social values of the human human beings okay now the third company which is also called as the Serco Global Service Limited which is also commonly known as SGS so this will be also one of the uh, top company in uh, India as far as the BPO market is concerned so Serco Global Services is the largest business outsourcing provider company so Serco has again, Serco has again uh, 60,000 working professionals and they can uh, from the various countries especially from the America, Europe, UK, Middle East, Africa, Asia and Australia so again you can see uh, the workforce from they have the, with the diversity with the various expertise uh, on the basis of various countries and their corporate office is located as Gurgaon, Haryana and uh, again as per the turnover so they are uh, also reached uh, are around 1 billion and dollars globally so next is fourth company is Vipro I think you all are, are aware about the Vipro companies the Vipro again they have the deliver the strategic business outsourcing services so solutions to improve service levels the Vipro business contributes around 8.5 percent to the company's social IT service and the re revenue is again uh, around uh, 5 billion dollar so they have again 21,000 employees with the annual revenues of uh, 490 dollar million million dollars so again the Vipro is in the uh, Indian scenario they are being the rank in the sixth uh, or the sixth number as well as the BPO can BPO in the <coughs> uh, BPO sector in the India so we have uh, so, uh, again so many companies in India uh, it, it will include the Aditya Birla HCL first source solution private limited WNS global services edges limited so these are so many kind of the BPO companies in India and they are uh, again doing the uh, any one of the ge geographical location maybe the onshore offshore or the near shore depending upon the expertise and which kind of the services they can provide into the various uh, sector so again if you look at the advantages of the BPO so there will uh, variety of ad advantages the first one will be the improving efficiency reducing cost and time ensuring business continuity better access to expertise or skills allowing staff to focus on core business more easy to handle employees so these are the basically the advantage of the BPO so when in the uh, any kind of this uh, the business who can uh, have it uh, they can uh, supposed to take the help from the BPO sector so at the same time they are being relaxed from their job which is already assigned to the BPO sector so that they can focus on their main key areas they can develop the competitive strategy to run the various market so uh, they can also reduce the time so they should not be handle the employees and so many things so they just simply give these uh, what they are actually required on the particular date and the month what is the expected format and all those things so they can already be shared with the company so they can basically focus on their main operations so these are basically the advantages of the BPO so now let's see what are the disadvantages of the BPO sectors so basically the first one will be the chances of data leak which is also called as the data privacy the communication problem or the issue again with the client and vendor the different time zones and the fourth one will be the lose on core work 
unfortunately if you uh, see uh, the one particular company which is already given the various uh, the contract so unfortunately they are not doing well by the bpo company so again this company who is already given the contract to them so so they have been the adversely affected on their main core areas so they are not being performed in a well manner because they are already dependent on the bpo companies on the one particular job assigned to them so uh, again they have to be more focused on their main job plus what the job is already assigned to them so again there will be the uh, problem with the time zone i think you know about the the time zone with the various countries australia india india japan japan china so there will be a slightly change in the time zone and the final will be the communication so most of the uh, the language will be the english but there will be slightly change in the language of the english maybe there there are foreign language also so it's a uh, very difficult to contact them and uh, just want to aware about what they want exactly in which uh, category or the format so again this will be the communication will be the slightly problem and the very very big problem is about the chances of the data leak because once you assign the work task to the bpo companies you have been the hand over various inform important and the confident confidential data of the company so so there may be a chances of the data so the data will be uh, used by the the company or maybe the data will be shared by the the company's competitor so there will be uh, data privacy is the biggest issue as per as the uh, bpo companies concern so these are about the disadvantages of the bpo and finally will be what will be the subset of the bpo again there are number of subset of the uh, the bpo industries it will be the bpo kpo lop rop hro and ito so basically these kind of the uh, services which will be focus or they can provide the expert service into this area so bpo means for the business process outsourcing we are just saying now so what is meant by the kpo the knowledge process outsourcing so when these kind of the uh, the companies when the companies has the facing the uh, a very very uh, uh, serious issue regarding the one particular field it may be the finance marketing or the hr so these kind of the uh, kpo they are having the expert team so they can solve the only one kind of the serious issues next one will will be the lop legal process outsourcing so this kind of the uh, the team which having the more and more information regarding the law the rules the policy so they can being uh, give the solution suggestion uh, and the uh, help to the to solve over the legal issues of the companies next one will be the rpo that is recruitment process outsourcing where the uh, the job of the recruitment which will be assigned to the uh, bpo company and all these being the recruitment from these giving the ad recruitment the uh, the all these things will be done by the this company next will be the hro again human resource process outsourcing so all these things related to hr it will be done by this bpo company and last one will be the ito that is the name in indicates information technology process outsourcing with all the parts related to it whether it is mobile application website the uh, operation and all these things they are, all these things will be done with the help of the ito so in short the it support uh, whether it in the terms of the website mobile sms the calling email so all these same things will be done by the it support so that's all from my side so i have just given the uh, a brief review about the bpo is the meaning of the uh, bpo companies what is exactly the definition of the bpo companies the types of bpo the front office back office geographical types of bpo we have studied also the uh, top 10 outsourcing company is in india the disadvantage and the advantages of the bpo companies and the finally the subset of the bpos so do you have any kind of the any issues if or if you not uh, understood any one concept then please email me so i will help you de definitely okay thank you all